Well, we're still trying to figure out whether you agree with Hobbes. So let's try a different case. Right. And let's see whether you agree with Hobbes. Let's suppose that you are enjoying yourself. You're traveling in a, uh, another country, uh, but it just so happens that this country has less than stellar judicial uh, enforcement. And uh, well, there's no easy way to put this, but uh, a bank is robbed and you are arrested for it. Hmm? You are arrested for it. And the, the police don't care whether you did it or not. They're just arresting you. They arrest you and they tell you that uh, a bank was robbed, so somebody is going to jail. Somebody is going to jail. Now they have arrested you and they've arrested somebody else. You don't know them, you can't talk to them, you can't, you, you, you know nothing about this other person. And they are telling you that it's like, look, somebody is going to jail, but we'll make a deal. Or we'll, we'll, we'll give you a deal here. Okay, so you can either confess and accuse, confess to rob at the bank, and accuse the other person of being your partner, you know, rat out on this other person, or you could just stay silent. Hmm? Now, you have this option. You can confess and accuse, or you can stay silent. And by the way, they're offering the same deal to the other person. Now, if you confess to the crime and accuse the other one of, of being your partner in this, and they stay silent, then you'll go free, and the other person goes to jail for 10 years. Now we're offering the same deal to the other person. If you stay silent and they confess and accuse you, well then they go free and you go to jail for 10 years. Hmm. Now if you both confess and accuse, then you each get five years in jail. And if you both stay silent, well, you know, each only, somebody's gonna go to jail. So you go to jail for one year. Okay. Well, again, let's let's take a look at this. Notice, right, you can't control the other person. You can't collude with them, right? You can only make a decision uh, uh, given what they're what they're doing. And they're not going to tell you what the other person decides until after the fact, right? <laughs> so uh, suppose the other person confesses and accuses you. Well, if they confess and accuse you, then you can either confess and accuse or you can stay silent. Well, what's the better consequence for you? Five years in jail or 10 years in jail? Well, obviously, five years in jail is a better consequence for you. You should confess and accuse if we're looking at these consequences. Okay. Well, suppose the other person stays silent. Well, if the other person stays silent, then you can either go free or you get a year in jail. Well, which one's better? Well, going free is better. So that means confessing and accusing again. So no matter what the other person is doing, the outcome is better for you if you confess and accuse. Hmm. So what do you do? Do you confess and accuse or do you stay silent? And another question on top of that is, well, what would Hobbes say? And do you agree with him? 